Good morning, all you lovely second swingers. It is a follow-up drive time chat with Buzz. The Massachusetts Open Qualifier is in the books. So, uh, I will not drag out the suspense any further. Um, we had 98 players, top 10 advanced. I shot 70 on a very quirky, pretty challenging overall uh, Country Club of Pittsfield 1897 Donald Ross Golf Course. Um, I like the golf course, it's fun. Um, 70 was good enough for a T4. So uh, I am officially in the Massachusetts State Open. Um, Pittsfield's been very good to me. I've made it both times I've tried now. Um, we had about 63 or 4 degrees and a ton of wind. Um, it was pretty breezy in the practice round, but it was really, really windy the second, the, the tournament round. So, um, very pleased to make it through. Definitely very pleased to make it through. My whole family is originally from Massachusetts. Um, we lost my father last year, so it gives me another chance before we make a move uh, out west to, um, you know, play in my dad's home state and see if I can uh, see if I can get some some good result there. So very pleased. Um, it was an interesting experience um, on a, a couple of different levels. Um, if you've been following along. Uh, from the beginning, it's pretty well documented that I have some mental issues when it comes to the tee ball. Uh, you know, I still have the yips with the driver. It's such a weird thing to have uh, when it's such a such a violent motion compared to all the the yips for those with touch shots. But um, you know, that was my career ender initially. It's, uh, you know, it's just, it's just not going to go away. I feel like I've got it fairly well managed, but uh, at least some of the time. So first hole, I had stepped up, ripped a three wood off the tee, was able to, it was a little downwind, which was nice, carried the bunker on the right, just barely. And, uh, and that set up a little sand wedge to about uh, six feet and a birdie on the first hole. Now, I think we probably talked about the whole birdie on the first hole thing, too. And uh, I've got to hang up with that as well. Uh, I don't like birdie in the first hole. Uh, we've probably covered this at some point. Because uh, I'm out here spewing all my quirks. But uh, if I birdie the first hole and I don't make another birdie before I make a bogey, I don't break par. That is, I got years of data that, that show that I just don't. I don't go low if I make a bogey after I make a birdie on the first hole. If, however, I make a birdie on a, a hole before I were to make a bogey, then it doesn't matter. Uh, I can do whatever, I can shoot whatever. So, birdied the first and promptly hit a, hung a tee shot out to the right, caught a cart path and ended up in the water and make bogey on two. So automatically, now my brain's already freaking out about my golf swing. Now my brain's freaking about the uh, freaking out about the fact that I've just made bogey after making birdie on the first hole. Now I'm probably not going to be able to break par. <sighs> Hamster running. Um, so I basically said to myself, "Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to talk my brain out of its stupidity. Let's." Uh, Let's just wipe sleep clean, slate clean. That's two pars, right? Bogey birdies, two pars. So I go to the third hole and make a birdie. All right, good. Now I had a day for the ages with the putter. Um, I haven't putted this well in so long. I can't even, I can't even remember the last time I putted this well. Uh, last two rounds I've played, putter has just been on fire, which is so great. Like I've been really putting in the time a lot of practice, a lot of drills. It is paying off, folks. It is definitely, definitely paying off. So I'm very happy with uh, with my return on 
on practice investment. Uh, and, and it made really all the difference. I missed one putt this week that I felt like I should make. And it was a downhill side hiller, five footer for birdie on the, on the fourth hole. I hit a great six iron from 177 back into the wind a little bit. Pins over on the right hand side, started it right up the right edge of the green and drew it right in. I mean, it was, it was just a great shot. Um, unfortunately, downhill left to right is probably my weakest point with putting. And uh, I just overbid a little bit on the putt and missed her on the high side. Might have hit her a little hard. So anyway, um, one under going into, uh, into seven, drove it in a fairway bunker. Didn't catch a great lie, caught it a little heavy coming out, got up and down for 44 yards. Uh, go to eight, hit a uh, driving iron off to its par five, uh, just an uncomfortable one. I hit three wood almost threw into a hazard in the practice round, so just hit a little driving iron, laid up with a five iron, and uh, I had about 140 left kept it short of the, the cross bunkers and uh just tried to hit a nice solid nine iron caught a gust of wind came up 25 yards short of the green got that one up and down made about an eight footer there and a birdie nine so 200th turn feeling pretty good really nice fairway wood off the first off the 10th tee uh wedged to about 15 feet made another putt now i'm three deep feeling pretty good Bogey 11, didn't catch a very good lie in the fairway, kind of sitting down after some rain, caught it a little heavy, came up short, uh, was not able to get that one up and down. Uh, made a great par save at 12, 13's a severely downhill par three uh, from about 160, I chipped a little nine iron to about two inches in the practice round, haven't had, a, haven't had an ace for so long so close um, this time in the tournament the pin was a little further forward in the green the tee was up just a tiny bit but the wind was blowing 15 20 miles an hour in our face so it was always a guess on these things so I hit a little nice solid nine iron and that came up about five, uh, five or six feet just below the hole absolutely perfect knock that one in back to three under feeling good 14 is a par 5 that got converted back to a par 4. Hit two good shots there. A little chip from just over the back fringe. Made the putt for par. Now I got 15 and 16, back-to-back -back par 5s. And these are the places that I would probably try and hit a driver, but the brain is just, the brain's running, the hamster's still going. Just couldn't do it. Just simply could not do it. So... I hit a really hard three wood off the 15th tee that never turned over and it clipped a tree and it kicked into the woods. I've got, found it, got absolutely nothing. So I'm fortunate that I've got a, a spot that if I take an unplayable, I can at least punch out from that point. So I take my drop punch out, leave myself about 155 downhill, again, straight back into the wind. I was afraid to hit 7 iron. I was afraid I just wouldn't make a very good swing at it. So I hit 8, hit it really solid, got turning on the wind just a little bit, comes up in the front bunker. Blast out 7 feet, knock me. So, good bogey. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, alright, no big deal. Go to 16, rip a three wood up the middle, lay up with a five iron, just up the left side, get up there. Find out there's a bunker right where I laid up. I had no idea. So, I got 84 yards, back into the wind, pin in the back, out of bounds long. What do you do? You chunk it. That's what you do. You just chunk it because you're afraid to hit it long and out of bounds. So um, I don't blame myself on that one. That was just a really tough shot. Uh, my fairway bunker play is getting a lot better, but the one from 84 yards, 
not comfortable, not comfortable at all. So, uh, I didn't get it up and down. I chunked it out, didn't get it up and down. So now I'm one under par, got two holes left, thinking, you know, one's probably good. Uh, even par got out there two years ago and the wind wasn't blowing like it's blowing uh, that day. So anyway, um, go to 17, 200 yard par three, playing downwind, which was nice. And uh, hit a seven iron to about 18 feet, maybe right about pin high, pretty happy with the shot. And uh, hit my really only bad putt of the day. I got a little frisky with it, trying to make something happen. Uh, I give myself props for staying aggressive, but I also take those props away for hitting that putt six feet by. The last thing I wanted was have to struggle to get to get it in the house even further, especially after making two bogeys in a row on par fives. Knock in the six footer, dead center. Cool, go to the 18th hole, four wood off the tee. 104 yards, back into the wind, pins in the back. Just gonna flight down a little little gap wedge. Hit a really nice solid shot right at the pin. Flies right over the pin, flies right over the green. Wind laid down. So now I've got this going to a green that does this. I'd had that shot back on 12, so I knew exactly what it needed to feel like. Hit a really good shot catches on the fringe, releases out, rolls down about three and a half feet, knock that in the back of the hole, shoot one under. I could have bogeyed, could have made one one more bogey coming in, it would have been okay. Uh, even par got in, but uh, one under felt really good. Uh, despite the challenges on the way in, despite the fact that I bogeyed two par fives back to back. Um, Positive swings all around, though, honestly, and that's despite what my brain's telling it. The fact that my body is trained to do the right things is really, and is able to do those things, is a very big relief to me. So, I'm in the, the Massachusetts Open, uh, June 14 to 16, Oak Hill Country Club, Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Very excited to go play. Uh, I got a little bit of time to get myself ready for that. Uh, Next event is the U.S. Senior Open Qualifier, and that will be at the Cascades Course at the Omni Resort in Hot Springs, Virginia, and that will be June 6th. So I'll be grinding it out between now and then. If there's anything interesting to report, I'll report it. If there's nothing to report, you won't hear from me until probably the day before. Um, but uh, just know I'll be grinding. And I'm rooting for you guys. Hope you're having a great start to the summer. And uh, stay warm, stay cool, have fun, golf's a game. Let's enjoy it. All right, peace. Talk to you soon.